Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, 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 happy Thanksgiving. On behalf of Generations Family, we're glad you've chosen to be with us today. Whether you're with family and friends or chilling on your own, thank you for taking the time out of your day to reflect on all that's happened and to give thanks. For some of us, it's been a rough year, and others, it's been a year of blessing. No matter where you are in life, let's take a moment to worship God. Today, we're called to worship from Job 121. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
Generations Church, on this Thanksgiving, I wanted to read a passage to you that, that challenges, encourages us in our Thanksgiving. And there's this story in 1 Chronicles 16 as David is bringing home the Ark of the Covenant and just the idea that, that it had been lost and given over to the Philistines and they're coming back from war. There's been this season of highs and lows, much like the season we've been in. And as David brings back the Ark of the Covenant in anticipation of God's presence uniquely residing with the people again, he sings out this song of praise, this song of thanksgiving. First Chronicles 16, starting in verse 8, it says this, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wondrous works, glory in his holy name. Let hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wondrous works that he has done, his miracles and the judgments he's uttered. O offspring of Israel, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. King David sings this song of thanksgiving, reminding us, let us tell the stories over and over of God's goodness whether the season is hard, whether the time is good, whether all things are right or all things are wrong. Let us sing and remind ourselves about God's goodness. David continues his song. He says, He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Remember his covenant forever, the word that he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac, which he confirmed as a statute to Jacob as an everlasting covenant to Israel, saying to you, I will give the land Canaan as your portion of an inheritance. When you are few in number and little account and sojourners enter it, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people, he allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked kings on their account, saying, touch not my anointed ones and, and do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord all the earth, tell of his salvation from day to day, Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He reminds them, hey, remember when you were wandering through the desert. Remember when you didn't have a nation. Remember that I brought you in. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Don't forget while we're in this, don't forget where we've come from. Don't, don't forget where God has brought us from. 
This Thanksgiving is weird. We're, we're distanced, and there's a lot going on in our nation. The coronavirus has been ramping up. Restrictions have been ramping up, and, and we're all feeling it. But we know that we can trust in God. We know that no matter what, God deserves our worship. We know that God is good and that God will see us through this season. And so in this season, in this time, at this holiday, when we gather, be it alone at home or maybe with our family, whatever it is, let us give thanks. Let us remind the, remember these words, sing to the Lord all the earth, tell of his salvation from day to day, declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among the people, for great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. This year it has been difficult to be away from friends and family and be sequestered. This year has been kind of challenging because of the political season and, and work environments. My challenge this year is staying home with my family doing online class. The challenge might be the fact that I can't fellowship in person and have service where we're all together. The thing that has been challenging for me is online school. This year was hard for me because I turned 50 and celebrated 25 years with this guy, and we really didn't get to celebrate. Something that I've been struggling with this year is being able to not see my friends. And it's because I have to wear all these masks. And I had a baby at the beginning of the pandemic, and it was just me and my husband on our own for the first few difficult weeks. This year, it's been a very challenging year. We lost all kinds of time with our grandchildren and our family. We were unable to see them. I lost a job that I had for 26 years. It was my dad having to undergo a very difficult procedure to remove five blockages from his heart. I'm, I'm thankful for God for having provided me with a job. And this year, even though COVID, we got engaged. So we're really excited about we're that. We're thankful for that. Yeah. I'm thankful for my family. I'm also super thankful for Miss Terry and her whole family, Alex, Miss Brooke, and Lily. Thank you, Jesus. But we are grateful uh, by our, the strength of our marriage, our relationship uh, to God, and our ability to continue to work throughout the pandemic. And something I am thankful for is church and youth group. Uh, I am thankful that the Lord is always with me. He's causing me to draw closer to Him. And I'm thankful for having a supportive family and them being there for me always. I am thankful for my husband and my new family and this little one. Say hi. I'm thankful for our health and all the good times we've got to share as a family. His provision is beyond measure. I'm so thankful for my marriage, and I'm thankful that we're able to see our grandkids and our family again. God is good. Thank you, Lord. Hello, church. This is my father, and we're extremely, extremely thankful because the procedure went above and beyond, and he's in recovery, and he's going to be okay. get to close our thanksgiving service today by celebrating the lord's supper the eucharist comes from the latin word eucharista which means thanksgiving and there's no greater way than we can give thanks to god by celebrating remembering his death remembering his life and celebrating and looking forward to him coming again so on the night that jesus was betrayed he took the bread and after he had given thanks, he broke it. And he said, this is my body, broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's take together. And in the same way, after they had finished supper, he took the cup and he said, this cup is the new covenant of my blood. As often as you take it, do this in remembrance of me.
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you that we can celebrate, that we can remember, that we can live in the grace that we, as sinful, broken human beings, are not remembered that way, but through the work of your Son, Jesus, on the cross, we are forgiven and we have eternal life with you. That is something to give a lot of thanks over. And so, Lord, as we end our service and our time here together, we give you the ultimate thanks. Thanks be to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Do you feel the world is broken? We do. Do you feel the shadows deepen? We do. Do you know that all the darkness stops the light from getting through? Do you wish that you could see it all made new? It's all creation. It's all creation groaning. There's a new creation coming. Is the glory of Is it good that we remind ourselves of this? Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the sea? Right.